Aloha, everybody. Andrew Fantasia here, and welcome to our first official episode of Andrew's Movie Shelf. Uh, if you didn't see our introductory episode, you can go see that now. But we're going to kick things off by taking a look at one very rare little movie that I happen to own. So come join me at the shelf. Okay, I decided to do this series in kind of an alphabetical way because I organize everything alphabetically because that's how I am. I'm a sane human being. Uh, so we're going to go all the way to the top here and we are going to pull down this handsome fella right here. This is the first thing we're going to talk about on Andrew's movie shelf. It's called After Hours. And as you can see right up there, it's a Martin Scorsese film. So why is this one special? Why did I single this out? Well, After Hours was a movie that I wanted to see for a long time because uh, I was just trying to work my way through all of Martin Scorsese's work. Uh, it's not quite what he would do plot wise, but it is a quintessential Scorsese movie because it's all set in New York and it's very kind of dark and grimy uh, with uh, some humor, but also a lot of just deep character stuff. And it stars uh, everybody's friend from uh, American Werewolf in London. It stars Griffin Dunn. This was a very difficult DVD to acquire. It is not exactly out of print, but it's out of circulation as a movie on its own. See, I watched it and I thought, oh my God, this is a really cool movie. I have to get it. And I went looking for it and it was nowhere to be found except on some deep, dark corner of Amazon, I managed to find a box set of Martin Scorsese films. And it was a very old box set. Um, and it had five movies in it. It had After Hours, Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, Goodfellas, Mean Streets, and Who's That Knocking at My Door? So it, uh, it put together a bunch of his films, you know, some of them better than others, and I got to see all of them since. Uh, I mainly, though, just bought it for this because I had already owned Goodfellas and uh, I just wanted After Hours at that point. But that's what makes this kind of special is that it's so hard to find. I could only get it in this very old box set. I don't think this has come out on Blu-ray. All right, this was back in the early days of DVD when they would actually put images on the disc rather than just a blank disc with the title on it like they do now, because they're lazy now. In fact, it's so early that they had to tell people, this is how you get the disc out. You press the center buttons to release it. So you know this is old. This is a very old transfer. Probably one of the earlier DVDs. Not the earliest because the case doesn't have those snappy things on it. But yeah, that's After Hours one of the more hard to find little hidden gems in my collection.